Hey there, and welcome to the second episode in the second season of the Hume video series. Today we'll be talking about exploring your data with Hive and transferring it into Uzi. In particular, we're going to focus on the Uzi workflow builder. To start off, we'll create two tables from the Yelp data. We'll create a businesses table and a reviews table. We have the Yelp data in HDFS. We can use the file browser to locate it. Now, we go to the Metastore Manager and create the tables from that file. Here, we start off by creating the reviews table. We tell the wizard to load the file into the table. Now, we specify the delimiter of the table. To save time, you can copy and paste the names of the fields directly into the editor. Then, you need to choose the data types for the fields. And, as you can see, the table has been created from the dataset. Here, we can see a sample of the table and navigate to any column. And now we go to the Hive Editor, where we can actually add our own custom UDFs, uh, edit properties, and provides auto-completion for us. And now we go to the Hadoop Tutorials GitHub to pick up the script that calculates the top 10 restaurants based on coolness. Let's quickly explore the script together. Here, we're creating a table called top cool from the results of a select statement. That select statement is a join across two tables, the businesses table and reviews table. Notice the back quotes around date. This protects the column name. And lastly, we order by coolness and take the top 10. Now we execute the script. As you can see on the next screen, there's a pop-up that's asking for the date. The following screen is a progress display. It shows you the logs dynamically. Also, on the left-hand side, there are links to the MapReduce jobs through the job browser. This will allow you to drill down into the job data itself. And now the table is created, and it shows up in the database. Now we're going to check out the Uzi application. We land on the dashboard first, but we're going to inspect the editor. So we want to create a workflow from the Hive script we made earlier. This is the workflow builder. We have controls on the left-hand side and the actions on the top bar. We click on workspace. This takes us to the file browser. Here, we can create a file and copy the Hive script to it. We click on the file and open it for editing. To save some time, we get the script from GitHub. Now, we drag and drop the Hive action to the workflow editor. After dragging and dropping the action, the edit window appears. Here, we point to the script and provide the date parameter. Now, for the most important part, we upload the hivesite.xml file. This enables Hive to communicate with the correct Metastore. Don't forget to add it as a file as well. The Uzi editor is pretty powerful. As you can see, we can clone nodes, create forks, and delete nodes pretty easily. For the purposes of demonstration, We'll be using a local Metastore, but as explained in the blog post, really you should be using a remote Metastore. In our case, this means we use a Derby database that points to the local file. Since this Metastore is owned by a different Hive process, we need to take ownership of that Metastore. 
And now we submit the workflow. If you remember, we had a date parameter. This pops up prior to submission. Here's a cool dashboard that shows you the progress of the workflow as it's running. On this page, you can see the logs, a node-by-node -node status, as well as the workflow definition in XML. Also, in one click, you can get the MapReduce logs. In the Uzi job, we inserted a record in the top 10 coolest restaurants table. We go to the Metastore browser to check it out. The Uzi dashboard supports the majority of Uzi functionality, even rerunning workflows. We hope you like the new smart dashboard and drag and drop features in the Uzi editor. Next time, we'll take a look at how to schedule these workflows using Uzi coordinators. Thank you for watching, and see you at the next episode.